Hey guys, and welcome back to another ZT Global video. Today, we're going to be talking about the Mina protocol, one of the lightest or smallest in size blockchains in the world. Now, it's really cool. We're going to discuss everything starting with the Twitter page and obviously the website. But before we do, make sure to check out Bright Friday on ZT Global because there is a little mystery box shop open every Friday from 00 to 2359 UTC. You can check it all out right here. It's really cool. And, uh, you know, if you want to actually purchase the Mina protocol coin, you can head on over to the market and do that as well. Now, they already have over 180K followers. And at the end of the video, I will be doing a little price prediction. So make sure to stick around until the end and leave a like if you do enjoy this analysis. These guys are bringing access and privacy to Web3 with ZK Tech, something very, very fast and efficient. They're bringing privacy and security layer for Web3 protocols. They're the world's lightest blockchain powered by participants only. Using zero knowledge technology, Mina is creating the infrastructure for the secure, democratic future that we all deserve. Built on Mina uh, with ZK apps, smart contracts powered by zero knowledge and a lot of this other stuff once it's available, you can be notified by pressing this button and subscribing to their mailing list. But as you can see right here, a little comparison from uh, you know Mina related to other blockchains, this is how it looks. Uh, it's a fixed size of 22 kilobytes in size and uh, obviously other blockchains are 300 gigabytes with increasing size. It's a very different foundation and uh, something that if worked upon properly uh, can grow to huge huge highs in the future so definitely keep that in mind uh, and as it says right here the mina blockchain remains 22 kilobytes forever enabling users to quickly and directly access the current state from their smartphone and other blockchains essentially some of the main aspects of this blockchain itself is that you do own your own data so you're not giving your data over to centralized entities these ZK apps and smart contracts are powered by zero knowledge, which means they keep users in control of their privacy by validating and sharing proofs or the, of their data rather than the data itself. That's very revolutionary. Obviously, uh, instead of sharing the data, you're just sharing the proof that the data exists. Think about getting a loan by simply sharing proof of your personal ID and credit score rather than the data itself. Now that makes it very uh, understandable even for us mere mortals. You can also access Mina from other chains. Given the lightweight design and the off-chain nature, it's very easy to use from smartphones and uh, also other uh, blockchains, right? And also it connects crypto to the real world by, uh, you know, interacting with other blockchains and uh, having in mind that other blockchains don't actually interact with the internet it limits their scope and utility and even scalability at some point. But these ZK apps can privately interact with any website and access verified real world data for use on chain. Very cool stuff. Every participant is a full node, meaning full decentralization is reached within the MENA community. And speaking of the community, it is global. They have a lot of followers on Twitter, Telegram, Medium, Discord, pretty much everywhere that you can uh, imagine. Um, really cool stuff. It's time to own our future, as they say. You can read more on Mina right here, why they actually created the world's lightest blockchain. Well, to rebalance the scales and give anyone with a smartphone the power to participate, build, exchange, and thrive. Amazing project. There's a lot of news about them coming out as well. And for the last part of the video, or my favorite one, is the technical analysis. Now, ever since the release of the coin, we did sort of unfortunately enter a bear section of the market. So currently we are finding somewhat of a bottom at the bottom of this trend channel. And, uh, you know, we made some nice moves towards the upside. However, there is a strong zone of resistance up here at the $2.25 level. So before we break that, I don't see us moving anywhere bullish uh, real soon. But, you know, if we do move up and then create somewhat of a head and shoulders pattern and break out of it, then we can continue moving towards the more upside. That would be the left shoulder, the head and the right shoulder right here. But we're not here to try and predict the market. We're here only to react to what the market gives us. And currently we are not receiving any of this knowledge. But, you know, it's always you know, good to plan out what you like to see on the chart. So once you see it, you have no hesitation and you just enter, uh, you know, according to your own strategy. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little insight. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and comment down below with your favorite thoughts about Mina protocol. And lastly, I'm not a financial advisor and anything you do invest in crypto, blockchain or NFT projects is on your own liability and you should do your own due diligence. So 
Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.